This week, we will be figuring out the sugar content of soft drinks. The purpose of this lab is to experimentally determine the sugar content of various soft drinks using a calibration curve. A calibration curve is a way to determine the unknown concentration of a substance by comparing to samples of known concentrations. So you're actually going to create a calibration curve that looks very similar to this. So the way that you do this is creating a series of standards. A standard is a sample that has a known concentration that we will prepare ourselves. And then you, so you know the percentage of sugar in those standards. And then you can figure out the density of those standards and plot the percent sugar versus the density. And that way, when you have an unknown sample, you don't know the percent of sugar in it, but you know its density, you can figure out the percent of sugar in that sample based on this curve. So first we're gonna make the standards that are just going to be sugar solutions. So um, there will be five of them. They'll be zero to 20%. And we're gonna do them in 100 milliliters. So it's just gonna be whatever the percentage is, is gonna be the mass of sugar in the um, beaker. And then we're gonna dilute to 100 milliliters of water. And remember that the mass doesn't have to be exactly, you know, 5.000, but think about the percent that you have if um, we don't weigh out exactly five grams. So then to find the density of the standards, you're going to weigh out 10 milliliters, and then you can divide that mass by the 10 milliliters of volume, and you can get your density of each of the standards. And then you can make your calibration curve here where the percent sugar will be on the x-axis and density will be on the y-axis. To create a calibration curve in Logger Pro, you'll um, fill out the x values and the y values on the left side of the screen that's shown there. And then once you have your data in, it'll plot it for you on the right side, and you can right click and say auto scale, and that will make it um, the dimensions right. Then you can add a trend line with that button shown um, with the third arrow, and that will create the line that you saw in the graph in the previous slides, and that'll help you determine your. Um, percent sugar in your unknown solutions. And then you can um, save that graph since this is online. Normally you would print it, but since this is online, you can save it and um, upload it to your lab. Um, these can also be done in Excel. It's a little easier that way. Some of you may already be familiar with graphing in Excel, um, but that just depends on your instructor. So. If you don't want to use Logger Pro, you can ask your instructor if you can do Excel. So after we have all those standards figured out, we're going to try and determine the percentage of sugar in, a soft, in some soft drinks. So we're going to do the same type of thing where we weigh out 10 milliliters of those soft drinks in one unknown sugar solution, like sugar drink. And then you can use the calibration curve to calculate the percent sugar in each of those samples. Once you have the percentage of sugar, you can convert it into grams per serving. And then you can compare what you just calculated to the values on the nutrition label. So for our example problem, let's say we're using Coca-Cola for our soft drink. So we, um, took 10 milliliters and weighed it out and then found that there was a density of 1.18 grams per milliliter. So you can see the red lines on that calibration curve. We've gone from 1.18 on the y-axis all the way over to our line and then straight down to the x-axis and we can figure out the percent of sugar 
which is about 8.92%. Now, we can use the same kind of logic that we used for making our standards, whereas like 8.92% is about 8.92 grams per 100 milliliters. And there's a quick conversion for you where 8 ounces equals 237 milliliters. So you can use that conversion to figure out how many grams of sugar are in 8 ounces or 1 ounce. From there, you can um, compare what you got, which is the experimental, to the theoretical. And you can figure out if you were close, if I guess we were close when we measured the sugar content. So the error for our example here was not that great, but um, hopefully we got better results in the actual experiment.